Uh, good morning. Welcome to Sir Guy Carlton Secondary School here in Ottawa. Uh, today we're going to take you through the setup of Tower Gardens. Uh, with us today are our urban farming students. We're the Urban Farming Operations, otherwise known as UFO, and that's a specialist high skills major program here at Sir Guy Carlton. Uh, Max, I think you have a few words to say. Uh, thank you to the Healthy Kids Community Challenge for their support in our classroom garden project. And Alicia? Um, thank you to the Ottawa Network for Education for their support of the classroom garden program. Hopefully you'll find this helpful in your setup of tower gardens. Um, so we'll leave it up to the kids now to, to show you how this whole process works. We're now gonna take you through the setup of a, a tower garden. So we've taken everything out of their respective boxes, all the pieces to make sure everything is there. Uh, we're gonna start with the reservoir of the base, which is your green tank here, and the pump that goes inside of it. So the pump needs to be set inside your reservoir off to the side uh, in order to get best flow. The power cord needs to be pulled through the access hole on the side and a small knot tied so that the cord does not pull back into the tank and preventing electrocution. The next step is to place the base or the top to the base on top. Um, what you must do first is you've got to connect your blue hose to the bottoms. By doing that, this is going to allow then for the water to flow through. So it screws into the base here. Uh, make sure you do it just to hand tighten. You don't want to over tighten at all. Uh, it can cause cracking and leakage later on. So once the hose is secure, the base sits on top. It's now time to put in our rods. The initial tower garden setup kit has uh, two rods that will be used to support the different tiers. If you have the extender pack, you will find that there is another set that go in. So what happens is the rods will go in first and then you'll apply your washers and your wing nuts in order to tighten them down. Here we're putting in the support structures uh, for the tiers of our tower garden. So the metal rods are inserted through and then wing nuts are tightened in order to make sure they stay in place. We'll then use these support rods to stack the rest of the tiers of our garden. Inside each section there is a labeling of A and B. The first section the rods go through the A holes. Now it's time to turn it and in the next section you'll put it through the holes labeled B and we'll continue to alternate A and B as we stack the different parts on. So make sure that goes through the B holes. And it should click firmly into place. Now we'll go through the next section. We'll go on through the holes labeled A. Again, should come firmly into place. And again, now holes labeled B. By alternating A and B, this ensures that you have a staggering of your, your growing areas. Now is the time, because we have the extension pack, we need to attach another set of metal rods. This will be found in the box with the extension pack equipment. So we place the first part of the extension pack on top of the existing tower, maintaining our A, B, A, B pattern. And now the extension rods will go into place. Again, tightening down until they are hand tight. And the final bit is the shower cap that goes on top. So once everything is assembled, this will provide a continuous tube from the pump all the way up to the top of the shower cap. The shower cap is where the water will cascade over top and allow for the trickle effect down through the various levels back to the reservoir. It's now time to add our light system. This is an optional add-on, but very useful when growing indoors because it provides you then a continual source of grow light all year round. 
<laughs> the lighting unit sits right on top, has a built-in timer. So now that it's up, you can bend the arms down. A light unit will click into place by taking the two ends, two wire ends, and attaching them, and then they will firmly click into place. We're now going to put on the cord organizer. What this allows you to do is to keep the cord from getting into your plant material. So it's going to hold it tight against the, grot, uh, the tower garden unit. So the wire goes down, and then there's a, a casing that, goes, that clicks onto the outside to hold it into place. And this whole system then is a pull, uh, peel and stick Velcro system. Now we stick the cord protector on the side. We'll put the reservoir cap on. And now, now we can see our unit is assembled, our lighting unit is set up, ready to go. Let's unplug it, please. The last step is to put together the rolling base. So we need to mount the casters onto the base. For this you'll require a socket in order to get them properly tightened down or adjustable wrench. We've gone ahead and actually put the screws in first. So the wheels attach to the bottom of the, of the unit. Once your wheel unit is set up. It's now time to place your tower garden on top of it. Please do this before adding water, otherwise it will be too heavy to lift. So with the help of some friends, we're now going to lift the grow unit, supporting it, and it sits down on top of the caster roll unit. You are now ready to plant your tower garden. You should be using the rock wool to seed your plants, and then they will fit into the, the provided cups and click into place. Happy growing! Hopefully this setup video has been helpful for you. Here at Sir Guy Carlton Secondary School, we're gonna be using our tower gardens to grow fruiting vegetables to help with our uh, new initiative of creating a lunchtime food program here for our students, where our urban farming students will be growing fresh produce for our kitchen, where we have a specialist high skills major program in the culinary arts that will produce a daily salad bar option for our students. The hope is to provide everyone with a healthy opportunity and chance to have quality food every day. Healthy minds, healthy bodies. Thanks very much for joining us. Until next time.